Hello, everyone. My name is Charles, and I want to welcome you to the God Principles Living in the Philippines. That's the good, orderly directions living in the Philippines. I want to start with a story. The story starts out like this. There was this Indian woman, and she had a little child. And the little child was going to school, and he saw this boy's crayons, and he stole some and brought them home. Then when he told his mother, say, look, Ma, look, Ma, I like these, so I took them from school. His mama said, son, don't do that anymore. That's, that's stealing. That's wrong. The boy continued that behavior until he was grown. And then he continued stealing, and finally he ended up on the wrong side of the law, and they took him to jail, and he was tried. During his sentencing, after they had sentenced him, his mother came up and gave him a kiss and the guy she gave him a kiss and the man spun around to the other side and bit off her ear the thing about it and then she went around to the other ear and he said if you'd have stopped this behavior i wouldn't be standing here today i want to thank that story that story comes from side guru out of india It's a very important story because you're going to love this because this is going to be my comments and reactions. It's going to be a lightning round to a lot of comments that I've been getting in the good orderly direction principles living in the Philippines. Who am I? My name is Charles. I am a recovery coach. I help people recover from addictions, drugs, alcohol, sex, cigarettes, you name it. I've done it. I've recovered from it all. I'm a certified coach. The God principles is about the good oily direction. What happens is, is that addictions are the result of deeper behavioral issues, such as resentment, envy, jealousy, damage that we've been victimized during our childhood. And so therefore, when I'm here and I'm on this channel, I'm pointing out things to help other people, but it's also a part of a case study that I'm doing for my other channel. It is called the Ultimate Brand Design Channel, which is for my digital marketing consultancy, Serio Design FX. Feel free to go over there and join. You'll learn how to make money on the internet. Now let's get ready for this. I've got a bunch of comments for you guys. I hope you like it because I got my gun out because my real Nickname and moniker is the Marketing Maverick, and you're about to see why. The first one comes from living alone in the Philippines. Are you making this huge mistake dating in the Philippines? This is the comment he had. I refuse to marry a young woman from here because then I'd end up putting her on display like all other Americans do. Smiley face. Their girlfriend is not going to save them if they start acting like Billy Big Balls. Most are ignorant regarding the laws here. This is a matriarchal country. Women run shit. That's his exact words, too. He said, just be glad she didn't file a complaint against you. Good luck. Be safe. And so, therefore, he was relating to or denoting a form of social organization in which the woman is the head. Now, in Tibet, there's a tribe where the women have multiple husbands. However, it's an ancient practice that comes when there are more men than women. Also, it explains why women have children but no husband. In modern society, we have learned that healthy families come from a husband and wife household. Look at the results in the U.S. The problem with this is women are enablers. We see that when the male child goes to prison, the mother takes the whole family to provide for him. In a sense, the whole family goes to prison. It prevents the male child from being growing up and being socially responsible for himself and being a good provider for his family because the women are matriarchal here. And the perfect example was I had a guy talk about how he was raised his, they fed his mother fed them seven meals a day. However, they became 
irresponsible. They would go get a day job. They come home with the money. They buy the food and they buy the alcohol and they couldn't couldn't go to work the next day. You see that problem here. If you want to see the real results of it, look at the African American community in the United States. That's the same thing that happens there. Women have come in and because they've overrun men with their feelings and emotions, they become emotional bullies and there's a detrimental effect on society. Thank you for your comment. Next, it's from a guy named Kenneth. I like your channel and your attitude. I hope you do after the day. On many other channels, you see a lot of higher income foreigners, mostly from the U.S., looking down or being condescending to others with lesser incomes, telling them they are only surviving or existing on anything less than 3K per month. When you pin them down and ask them why they need that much, crickets. That's what he said. Now, especially when they're spending their money on women who were satisfied living in the province in a bamboo hut with a Filipino man and fetching water from the local well. But everyone loves a happy meal. Now, what I'm saying there is that we come here with our resources, and here's a woman that was satisfied with the Filipino man living out in the province in a, in a hut getting water from a well and then we want to put her into these big elaborate residences and i asked myself for what i had that stuff one of the most freeing things about being in the philippines is i didn't have to have that stuff but kenneth thank you for your comment because i wanted the same thing but that's because they need that to feel good for themselves low self-esteem low self-worth and so they needed to try to pr prove themselves and come in here be a hero in that woman's family and life, not realizing that's really not going to work. The next one comes from the comment from more money, health, love, adding value to content and subs. It says this, focus on men, my brother. How can young men can become success successful and get out of the woman thirst trap? It's a tough world out there. FYI, Catholics are a different religion. You don't want to mess with. Good luck and I'll subscribe. And then it also was another comment that said, I have limited knowledge. Replying. And that was a comment I made because you don't know my background. And so I'm going to help you. I said right here, thank you. I attended DePaul University in Chicago. It is a Catholic university. I went there for two years, 23-24 North Seminary. I have been taught by Catholic priests. So I do know the Catholic faith very well. But I also, they have philosophy and religion are required, taught by Catholic priests. I've studied world religion, Roman Catholic Church, the Bible in three languages, Greek, Hebrew, and Chaldean. Sex is an addiction. We use it to change our feelings. We study the progression of addiction. I had to learn to love myself. When I did, I stopped sleeping with any kind of women. I used to date prostitutes, but I noticed I felt like crap afterwards, so I stopped. The progression of addiction starts very early in life. Like in my case, it was food. Then the next thing you know, it went to cigarettes, then alcohol, then sex, then drugs. There's a progression to it. We only do that because of some unconscious or subconscious feelings of negativity about ourselves. And I help people recover for that. If you need some help, I, I am a certified life counselor. And there's a link in the description. But I want to thank you for that comment but well, we're going to keep going now what this guy was talking about was i have this comment you talk about the bible right now i can go there with you if you want but i really want to keep this more on recovery because addiction is not about religion it's about your behavior 
And you, you got to fix that if you're going to get over these addictions to sex, drugs, or whatever you're doing. But here it is. From the 21st century King James Version, seven, the 21st century, uh, here are the verses. And these signs shall follow them that believe. Key word, believe. This is also, wait a minute. Uh, in my name shall they cast out devils. They shall speak with new tongues. 18, they shall wake up, take up servants. And if they drink any deadly thing, it shall not hurt them. These are the things that follow those who believe I'm in recovery. I've had heroin. I've had fentanyl. I've had rat poison. And I'm, it didn't harm me because I'm a believer. The Bible don't talk about faith. It says you got to believe. And I got the evidence that, hey, I know I believe. But thank you for your comment. The next comment comes from the video, How Modern Society Affected the Filipino People. And the comment that I made is, it's, is this, it's not used, I told the guy about Caucasians. And, and, and he replied this, it's not used by Caucasians, it's just by elites. This is also part of the elite's gain by dividing the working class against each other. So we're spending more time fighting against another poor man for the last dollar instead of looking around to see the rich sitting on billions. Just look at the poor communities around the world. Crack in the African-American communities, opioids in the poor white American communities, heroin in Scotland, alcohol in mainland Europe and Russia, and opium in Asia. As the elites got you food. Now, this is what I see in that comment. I see resentment, jealousy, and envy. And I want you to stay to the end because I'm going to introduce you to someone that's going to contradict this, and you're going to know them in real life. Heroin was used in the Civil War, and the doctors got hooked on it. Cocaine was found in pots from Greece. What I want you to do is look up Grant Cardone. He's a billionaire, but he's also in recovery. He came out on YouTube. He spent 15 of these last 30 years in recovery. And he's a billionaire today. He started out with nothing. That's why I brought this up. Because he doesn't understand what I'm talking about. Caucasians are a real race of people. They came across the Caucasus Mountains. It's mentioned in the Bible. Anyone can be rich if you learn and do the root, root work. Grant Cardone is the evidence that you keep those Obstacles that we fall trapped to, you can recover from them. Hell, I've made a million dollars in my life. Shit. So anyway, but he is past practicing powerlessness behavior. When you point your finger at someone else, there are three fingers pointing back at you. You are poor because you didn't take responsibility for yourself. Hopefully, y'all, you've liked this. If you have any comments or questions, leave them down there. I'll pull out my Maverick gun again and come for you. Because this channel is not about religion, y'all. It's really not. It's about presenting a positive image, helping people to recover from various problems in life. Because when Jesus came into the temple, he didn't come in there being all passive and meek. He came in there pointing out what was wrong in the temple. My name is Charles the Marketing Maverick. Have a nice day.